Ayurveda and aromatherapy, first you would say, how can they go together? It's the same as if you compare Chinese traditional Chinese medicine and aromatherapy. Here we have two systems, traditional systems, very old, yes, so many thousands of years old. But they have not been so much involved in distillation of oils, you know. They have, but they have so many wonderful, amazingly rich categories of healing in their systems that you can just say the system is actually ready to receive the knowledge of aromatherapy on top of it. We have had Vaidyas here, professional Ayurvedic medical doctors. They came here to learn aromatherapy with us. And they were really enthusiastic. They said, that is what we should have in, our, in Ayurveda now also. So we can say, we create a new layer of healing within the system. And many of the Ayurvedic plants, let's say a number at least, have essential oils. And then, again, you can add to this richness of understanding, specifically, you can add the richness of other medicinal plants of the world, because we are anyway living in a world of connectedness. Now we connect with the world medicinal plant gardens. You know? And that's it. I have been in India with one of the most famous Indian Vaidyas, Dr. Triguna, several times. How many times I met him? Each time we were talking about essential oils also, and he was so enthusiastic about also using essential oils yeah, in the system of, of uh, health, health caring. Yeah? So we tried even you know, together, and he smelled the oils, and he was absolutely impressed. Yeah? So many anecdotes I could say just about this meeting with Ayurvedic experts and aromatherapy. I would say it's great. We're speaking about evolution. Med medicine is never the same. Also here we have, through time, new, new areas to discover and new levels to add to the already existing ones. If we are not, then we are just rigid and yeah, bound in little dogmatic kind of uh, strategies. This is not what evolution really means. Yeah? We accept everything if it is really healing in therapies, if it's really healing. Even allopathy had its own right to, and it was added, but it became predominant, overpowering, and then defensive against everything which was natural medicine. And now natural medicine comes back. I would rather say strikes back, because we need to get natural medicine back to Western medicine. And then the two in combination, fine. Western medicine, more like emergency medicine, it's very good, but all the rest should be natural from, from medicinal plants and the global hmm, uprising of global consciousness helps us for that. It's never been in human history that we have plant medicine from all continents available in a little pouch, 10, 15, 20 bottles, your home pharmacy from this country, that country, this tradition, this shamanic tradition, this tradition of healing and so on and so on. Beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah.